everybody. Hopefully you're enjoying uh, this ride. Just got out of the clubhouse, had my nutritional drink, had a uh, honey, had a cracker, uh, honey granola bar. It's a different kind than what I was used to, but they have them. And I'm gonna go ahead and use it. Oh, I am very acclimated to the cooler weather out here. The only thing I gotta... Okay, I just gotta keep my... All right, so yes, I'm very gotten very acclimated to the uh, cooler weather out here so it's probably like 60 maybe 60 probably 50 maybe 50 degrees I'm fine with this setup as long as I keep my hands warm so once I get your once I get my blood cir blood circulation going uh, my fingers get warm so Feeling, feeling good. I wear thicker gloves just to shield the wind. And that helps. That helps. Because it kind of sucks to uh, have cold hands. With the Flexi Freeze vest, I get a lot of the wind uh, off of my uh, chest. So my arms get most of the wind. Bus? No, dirt truck. I hope it doesn't have any dirt. And I don't know if it's me. Is that truck leaning to the right? One of the hydraulics is not working on that truck. Okay. So, yeah, headed back home. Wife is ready to do laundry, so I'm gonna take a shower. I gotta wash her car actually, since it's been raining. Now I gotta wash her car. I wash the other cars. That uh, pressure washer, man, it comes in handy. If you own a home, pressure washer is one of the must-haves. Especially if you live in a uh, master plan community like this area here, where it requires you to maintain your house or you're gonna get fined they're going to bring someone to take care of your house and charge you for it. So, because I don't want to live in no ghetto. I don't mind having a low cost of living, a low cost uh, house in a very nice, what I would call rich in some ways, neighborhood, but don't let it be a ghetto. taking advantage of the situation. So, we got a lot of stuff to do in the spring. Got to pressure wash the house, the driveway. Uh, man, I do a lot with that pressure washer. The two things that I use the most of all the things I have, Harbor Freight tools and everything, is uh, the pressure washer and the compressor, the air compressor. Those are the two things that I use the most. And of course, the lawnmower and the weed whacker. It's been a long time since I've changed the oil. Since we don't drive that much anymore. We rarely drive, we just got a new car in Tucson. Ugh. Anyways, another friendly reminder that I will be having gift card giveaways for March. By the time you see this, it'll be like mid-March maybe. So, if no one's claimed that gift card and it's still available, it goes out to the general public. So subscribe, consider joining membership. Membership gets first dibs. Other than that, please like, share, comment. Let me know what you're doing for uh, Valentine's Day. If any of you people are actually, has a, any significant other, 
whether you're married or girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever, your significant other, your spouse, the person you love to be with. So, anyways, I I got my wife to uh, pay for Valentine's Day. It's not Valentine's Day yet, but it's coming. There's a really good chance we're going to BJ Brew House. I'm really liking that restaurant. It used to be where my old favorite used to be, Red Lobster, before it shut down. But they got prime rib and get this. Prime rib from now until Valentine's Day every day. So, <laughs> all right. I like that. And the prime rib's pretty decent, pretty good. The prime rib dinner, it comes with the dessert two sides. I love it. So, probably we're going to go there and she'll be paying. So, that's Valentine's Day for me. So, happy Valentine's Day for all of you guys. Or, or girls. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Or, it'll probably be a little bit late. But it's coming up. By the time you watch us, I think it'll, it's going to be past Valentine's. But it's coming up. Okay, slowing down. Brakes sound good. They're not squeaky. All you have to do is adjust them properly. And, uh, yeah, they'll, they'll work. Okay. These are just simple mechanical brakes. Yeah, I'm able to stop. Okay, I got a green light. Walk. Watch out car, watch out car. Thank you. Okay. That signal seems to be adjusting because if I don't push that button at the crosswalk, it doesn't uh, it doesn't provide a walk signal for me like it normally would do. Interesting. Anyways. Oh, it's a really nice day. I'm warming up. My fingers are warm. So, perfect day. This is just the start. I think... I think tomorrow, all the way to Friday, it's just going to be a sunny. And I think it's also going to be warm. So it's going to be warmest... I think it's going to be warmest at Friday. I think it's going to be warmest Friday, so, yeah, you lucky me. So I got about three to five days of riding here, which I'm going to probably do, uh, just to get my little rides in, exercise. I've been using that uh, muscle stimulator, the Compact Sport Elite. Work out the, uh, my, my legs and other parts of my body while it was uh, cold and I couldn't ride that much or when it was raining I should say I did ride in the cold and that was fun that was fun riding in the winter is not too bad as long as there's no snow and hopefully not any ice ice is, ice is not good you can slip easily without knowing really really dangerous potential there in my opinion Gotta slow down here. I'll ring the bell. Just because it's a blind, it's kind of blind right here with all the vegetation. Well, look at all this vegetation, nice and green. I think some of them will start, some of these trees will start losing their leaves really soon. Right before, right before spring comes around. Yeah, this must be brine. I only see this around the uh, overpasses. It's kind of <laughs> kind of late to have this, but oh well. Ooh, what is that? There's a big dust cloud over there. Is that the is that the sweeper? That might be the sweeper. Clean up all the brine out there. I hope that is. Putting a 
a plume of dust. I don't know if you see that. A little plume of dust right there. And it's going slow. Yeah, it's a street sweeper. Look at that dust. Okay, I'm going to take a look at the... Uh, I'll probably go on the gravel. We can, we can stop by the gravel trail real quick. I'm okay with that. I'm down two bars. I've got three bars remaining. Not too bad. The battery for me works. I don't... You know, from here... My house to the clubhouse is only about... Uh, six and a half miles. Round trip, maybe 12 to 13 miles, depending what trail I take. And I still have some battery left over on a on a sunny day that's anything above 40 degrees, 45, 50 degrees. The batteries do okay. It's probably a little warmer right now, but uh, at least I'm feeling warm. Oh, throttle. I'm still on seventh gear. That, this little throttle helps. <laughs> it helps. I wouldn't give up this throttle for the world. This throttle makes the uh, electric bike very special. Without it, um, I don't know, it's just inconvenient. Okay. Gravel trail is good, solid, dry. All right. You're all enjoying the ride like I am. Oh, I can see the birds flying around, the vultures in the air. So yeah, spring is right around the corner. It's already warming up. The water in this levee is really high. Well, that was a quick winter. Winter for me was like a week, maybe two weeks. We'll see for the rest of the year, but it's pretty much spring. It's just the leaves have uh, haven't grown back yet, but some of these leaves will uh, start. Some of these leaves will start uh, leaving. And that's when I know spring is here. All right. So today's uh, pollen for trees is moderate. Uh, see how, how I feel. Usually I get a headache. Let's see how I feel after this. I still got yard work to do. Yard work is, is what gives me the headache, all the dust I blow up in the air. All right. Oh. I feel good. I feel warm in the cold, cool breeze as I'm riding the bike. Uh, I, I don't feel hot. I feel warm, but I don't feel hot. I don't feel sweaty. The Flexi Freeze with the water packets, you know, they're keeping me cool because they're chambered. But they also absorb heat, but at the same time, they insulate. It's kind of weird. But that's what water does. It has some unique properties to it. Happy Valentine's, everybody. And yes, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Also consider joining membership. All right, let's, let's go on the ride.
Hopefully you all enjoyed that nice ride. I tried to, uh, you know, enjoy the ride for myself. But hopefully you all enjoyed it. Probably gonna conclude this uh, ride right here. I got a red light coming up. Okay. Man, I'm starting to get a little warm. But still cool. Fingers are warm, that's for sure. All right, everyone. I'm gonna end the video here. Thanks for watching. All you members, I hope you all appreciate the e-gift card, the giveaway. Hopefully you all be able to use it. Bye, everybody.